Yo, what's up? You know, recently you've seen some Model 3 performance driving on various trucks and uh, you know in the display it shows you this battery in green or eventually turns orange um, to indicate how hot the battery is. And you also seen, uh, there was a video here from Un Unplugged Performance, uh, Pike's Peak, and you saw that it turned orange a little bit and then turned back to green quite quickly. So I wanted to know how hot is the battery because it doesn't show you in degrees Celsius. So uh, I also wanted to know how fast does it cool it down when you are in track mode because it goes faster than normal. You know? So the way I did it was that I went to a supercharger and then I charged up the battery and I stopped when it was peaking around 54.5 degrees Celsius and I can see that that fairly hot. And then I started track mode in default setting. I want to see how hot was the battery. And here you see I turn on track mode and actually I don't know if this is a bug or something but um, at 54 degrees Celsius uh, it shows as green. So I wonder how hot that does it have to be for it to turn orange or whatever. But um, on the other hand you know even at 50 degrees Celsius or something we have pretty nice uh, output power and also region. Well, it was actually over 100 kilowatt, but you see, as the battery cools down, uh, you get less and less region available and then less power. But you see, it's in track mode, it pulls almost six kilowatt for cooling and uh, HVAC is also off, so we're not running anything on that. So this is pretty massive cooling. And you see already after just seven minutes, we are down to 45 degrees. So yeah, okay, let's say after eight minutes, we have <laughs> gone from 55 to 45 degrees Celsius, roughly, and it goes quite fast. So, wow. Uh, and you also see that the battery flow on the um, pump there is, it was high, yes, uh, 24, and now it starts ramping down. So you see, after 10 minutes, it starts ramping down. It's, probably when it hits 40 degrees Celsius because then the battery is not that hot anymore so it can slow down a little bit but of course if the battery was hotter when you start hammering it would probably just ramp up again so right now it's not really consuming that much power to uh, cool down you see it's uh, it's slacking past 40 degrees Celsius mostly just slacking there uh, but you will notice that at 15 minute mark I was in park and then track mode went out because I wasn't driving so I had to restart track mode again and I immediately noticed that uh, once it started again the the heat I mean the cooling was more aggressive you see 3.4 3.3 kilowatt but then it slowly ramps down again so I don't know why this behavior is there that if you I guess if you for some reason want to cool it down further you could restart it and then let's say for before a very important lap or whatever but on the other hand 40 degrees Celsius isn't really that hot. Uh, it's past 50, I guess past 55 then it becomes really hot. So based on this, is the cooling good enough in Model 3? I think in track mode it's good enough, uh, but of course if you push it too hard it will overheat still. But what you can do then is take a 5-10 minute break, let it cool down, and then you should be good to go for a long time again. So um, and by the way, a Taycan, when they did the lap around Norschleife and it also overheated, people were saying that, no, but it's not fair because those guys, they drove 1,000 km on the Autobahn before that one and so on. But, you know, I, I was wondering, how is it then? Because when I did a, a lap, or I mean, actually a run on the Autobahn last year, I was cruising around 200 to 220 km per hour at night uh, with almost no traffic. And I saw that the battery was hovering around 40 degrees Celsius only. So it seems like the car could cool it down more aggressively. They kept, kept it around 40 degrees Celsius, which is nice and comfy for the battery. Which means that a Taycan running at 200 km per hour on the Autobahn shouldn't really heat up. And of course, when they went to, North, to, uh, to Nürburgring, they probably didn't go on the track right away. Maybe they just slack a little bit, five, 10 minutes minimum, and that would give the, the Taycan enough time to cool down. So, sorry, I'm not buying it. The reason why Taycan heated up uh, was because of the track driving, like you've seen here, based on the data I have now. But okay, uh, anyway, so I wanted to know now, if you fast charge it, and, and the fast charge model three, and then you just leave it there. It could be a scenario you fast charge it in the evening and then you go to the hotel or whatever. What's gonna happen with the battery? So on the way home, I fast charge this 50 kilowatt fast charger at uh, Circle K. I also heated up the battery, what's the purpose? To heat up the battery to 50.5 degrees Celsius. And then I went to the garage, 
put it there and then I captured the screen and I was looking at it, uh, what happened then. And I noticed that um, the car pulled 150 watts continuously after it was parked. It was running some pumps or whatever and slowly cooling down the battery. So uh, after one, around one hour I came back to the car, then the car went to sleep. And it was that kind of sleep state where you go, you enter the car, the screen was off and it needed some time to boot it up again. And you also heard that clunk clunk sound, which is the, the power switch to the main battery. So that tells me that it actually went into that regular sleep state. Uh, so I just uh, started everything. I just waited for it to start again. And then I re-recorded another session, but I noticed that the, the temperature went from 50 something to 44. So that was, uh, I guess when you reach that level, it's fairly safe for the battery anyway. Uh, but I did record a new round. Um, and then when I came back after just uh, 20 minutes or something, um, I noticed that the, the, about after about 15 minutes or so, uh, the OBD shut down. But this time when I came back to the car, I opened the door, it immediately woke up and the data was live there. So uh, the, this time the car was still awake, but it just chose to shut, shut down OBD yeah, for some reason. I don't know. So um, I also noticed something. I was sitting there just looking at stuff and I fire up the heater because it's getting cold. And I noticed that once I fire up the HVAC, uh, the battery inlet dropped. I was like, okay, I was studying it. So what happened? The battery inlet dropped. And then when I switch off HVAC or, or air conditioning or whatever, you know, it, uh, the, ba the battery inlet rise again. And then I noticed that it must be that um, evaporator or the, the AC button that you have in the car. So when I switch off AC, the inlet will rise. And then with the AC active, the inlet will, uh, will drop. So that tells me that uh, you can use that trick to cool down the battery, I guess. So I made some Google sheet of the result here. You can find this in the, in the description below, by the way, if you want to look at it and use it. So I recorded all this, uh, the, the data here. You see that um, in track mode, it goes quite aggressively, actually quite fast. It cools down. And then actually, if you guys remember, it was around, uh, for, after 40 degrees Celsius, it went slightly flat. Well, actually on this graph, it still shows it that as really aggressive, but that's probably because this one is so slow. So this is the, I don't know, I, would, I wouldn't call it the passive cooling. I would call it the semi slacking because it was still active cooling, but you see it went way, way slower than uh, when it's uh, running the track mode. I don't know, as, as a comparison, how fast is it cooling in track mode? Well, I worked out that it cools down at the rate of 85 degrees Celsius per hour. And then in comparison, when you are just parked, it's 7.2 degrees per hour. So that's uh, actually uh, one, less than one tenth of the speed. And then in comparison, if uh, you have a Nissan Leaf, I also checked that one with the Leaf. When the Leaf is rapid gating and the battery is hot, after nine hours, it dropped by 15 degrees Celsius. So it means that uh, leaf passively cooling uh, drops at a rate of 1.7 degrees per hour. So you see uh, the Tesla, when it's parked, is actually actively cooling it without spending too crazy amount of energy. 150 watts is really nothing just for one. Well, <laughs> let's put it this way. If it actively cools one hour, it only spends 150 watt hour or 0.15 kilowatt hour to cool down. And I guess it's better for the battery. So, you know, what should you do in case you have to fast charge or something, or you, you know that the battery is hot in the evening and you need to park it. Should you run track mode? Because I, I had that thought many times, but the problem with track mode is that um, it's, first of all, it's only available for performance model three. If you don't have it, then it's simply not available there. And then um, it's kind of noisy and this would be, if you do this as ni at night in the neighborhood, some people might be annoyed by it. So it's some loud fans going, you know. Uh, and also, I'm not sure if uh, you do this too often. Maybe you could uh, shorten the lifespan of the compressor, uh, even in default mode. You can also run it in more aggressive mode, but even in default mode, you run it slightly higher than normal. So yeah, because I mean, what are, what, is, uh, what are the trades off here? You wear down the compressor more to save the battery. Well, I guess the battery is the most expensive component in the car, right? 
But uh, I also thought about another idea. What if you put on keep climate on manually in the car and then you put the fan spin on one but you keep the compressor on, the AC button on and then you park it in the garage. You can also lock it. Park in the garage or somewhere and then uh, after a couple of hours you can switch it off manually via the app or you can go to the car if you want and just do it from the app because then you give the car a couple of hours to cool down and it should be more uh, aggressive or slightly faster than uh, just letting the car cool down by itself but then you will be running around uh, maybe one kilowatt or 600 watts versus 150 watts so you'll be spending more energy to cool down the battery but um, uh, what I found out is that uh, you probably don't have to do anything. Just let the car sort it out by itself. Like I've shown you that the car decided to cool it down actively for one hour. And then when it was down to 40 degrees something, it just shut down. And it, the car probably knows that it will cool down below safe uh, levels anyway. I mean, about, uh, in, in the safe levels and no big deal. So, you know, when you're listening to this, and you don't own like an EV, you might be saying, yeah, but EVs are so damn complicated. Oh, damn, I just want to refuel and then, yeah. No, but uh, think about this. If you have a turbo charged car and you drive it hard, the turbo charger will also overheat, well, not overheat, but it gets hot. And this is what I heard that if you do that, uh, you want to idle for about five, 10 minutes before you cut the engine, because then you'd give the turbocharger time to cool down so i mean you don't have to do it you can of course just park it there but again for the longevity of the turbo you can do that and the same here is for the battery you can just let it uh, you can just park and no big deal or you can do some extra but i don't think in this case that you have you you have to do anything extra that's what i'm saying you can just let the let tesla uh, sort it out for you park no problem yeah so anyway I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.